You know, there's so many controversy with hormone therapy. Many times you say, when you talk to patients and you say, tell me, are you on hormone therapy? They often think about Premarin. So now we're going to talk about hormone therapy for breast cancer. Could you tell me what it is and how is it different from Premarin and that type and what's the role in treating breast cancer? So our terminology can be a little confusing at times. And I usually tell my patients that when I say hormone therapy, I really mean anti-hormone therapy, okay? Mm -hmm. So hormone therapy that is used to treat or manage breast cancer is actually blocking signals between female hormones, such as estrogen or estradiol, mm -hmm. and those abnormal cancer cells that almost thrive in the presence of those hormones. We, at the very beginning, when a patient is being diagnosed, we want to tell, is that patient going to potentially benefit from these agents? So we ask our pathologists to check the estrogen and the progesterone receptor. This is key information at, at the time of every breast cancer diagnosis. And approximately two thirds of women will have expression of the estrogen and or the progesterone receptor on those cancer cells and may benefit from this approach. And this hormone therapy is usually given after all other treatments are complete. Uh, when a patient has gone through their surgery and their radiation therapy if it's recommended and their chemotherapy if that's recommended, then they will start their hormone therapy, which is usually given for about five years. Um, recent information suggests that some women may benefit from longer than five years, but that is an individual discussion that a patient should have with their oncologist. And I usually tell my patient that in terms of side effects, really the side effects of these agents are really menopause side effects. Hot flashes, maybe some aches or pains, some change in energy, changes in sleep or concentration. And these are symptoms that many women experience as they go through menopause. And our job as physicians is to try and help patients bring these to our attention and to see what we can do to overcome these to again help them get through this treatment uh, while maintaining their quality of life.